Is this thing working? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, but she can't see. Do you have one? Thank you, Sally Charmigaris, in case you're wondering. Uh, best man extraordinaire, as well as brother of the bride. <laughs> Eldest brother, by the way. Anyway, as far as introductions go, it's pretty common for people to always use first time I met somebody. You know, it's always common, mundane. But on that note, the first time I met you, <laughs> Now, I wasn't living with my mom or sister at the time, but I'd certainly come home on plenty of days and steal food. <laughs> uh, it just so happens one day I showed up and something was a little odd, not exactly right in the house. Now, I saw a full blonde of wavy hair hiding their clothes. That wasn't odd. <laughs> what was odd that it had a five o'clock shadow. <laughs> uh, so it so happens that I saw another dude staring at me. I stared back at him. We're just staring at each other like two deers in the headlights. <laughs> anyway, my sister comes around to save the day around the corner and says, this is my friend, Trent. <laughs> Knew me too well. <laughs> anyway, a week later, this friend, artist, artist, the artist formerly known as friend, became the boyfriend, and the boyfriend wanted to take me out to lunch. Oh. Oh. You, you requested. <laughs> going to lunch, he tells me that he's an older brother himself, and he basically explains how it feels about my sister and how much she already means to him. And he certainly put a lot of effort, but for one reason, couldn't exactly put my finger on it, I didn't like him. <laughs> now, if anyone knows Trent, you know, there's a few pet peeves you can have about him right away. <laughs> Uh, one would have to be the Napoleon complex. <laughs> Trent, you are the tallest by the guy in the world. <laughs> in fact, he's lying, and on his Illinois license, it says he's 5'9". <laughs> I love you, Trent. Other than that, we have to look at the fact that Trent has a do you want better attitude. <laughs> right now, he's saying the speech in his head, that would be a lot better and a lot funnier than mine. <laughs> <laughs> but then, just maybe, there's a possibility that he was dating my little sister. My other half, the person who, from the moment she was born, it was my charge and duty to protect her and be there for her. I still don't know which one it was. But pretty much stayed away from uh, my sister for a while. We just didn't see as much of each other and didn't really enjoy that. As much as close as me and Ashley are, it wasn't working out. Then a loved one told me, well, you know, you kind of got to come around on this. Trent, he's not going anywhere. <laughs> and if you want to stay in Ashley's life, you got to put tip or tap. So I did. I came around a few times coming back from school. We had a few drinks, had a few talks. And after a few inebriated conversations later, <laughs> we were pretty comfortable with one another. Then Trent had some free time. He happened to come out to Riverside with me to help me move. Um, the whole ride up there must have been like a 45 minute drive. All Trent could talk about was how he felt about Ashley. All he talked about was how his heart stops just with the thought of her, how he felt more focused, he felt like a better man, and he just felt so happy to be loved. He felt so deserving of it. That day I knew, without a shadow of doubt, that we were going to be here today. So, took the time, got to know him better, it blossomed into a great friendship, which is why I'm here standing as the best man. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. 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 With Trent, 
and Ashley, their love isn't simple, it isn't small. It's not the kind of love that you're wanting to pick somebody up around the corner for, uh, wanting to lend a few dollars for, wanting to call them once a week when they're out of town or living in another country. Their type of love is where you spend everything you have and everything you don't have to make that person happy. The kind of love that you will move across the country to be with them, to support them, and to love them. The type of love that ever lasts and lasts way past time. So someone once told me, a very wise person by the way, that it's more than just love to take a relationship to work. The goals and values of people have to intermash, have to foster each other, and have to go in the same direction. However true this statement is, I truly believe that love is the driving force, it's the fuel that keeps any relationship going. It's the fuel that keeps us going when we hardly resemble our former selves. And those people still love us and still share us us. So, looking at Ashley and Trent, if someone was to try to bet against this union for money, I'd simply have to believe that they hate money. <laughs> because these two people love each other, cherish each other, their love is ever growing, ever evolving, ever maturing. When I look back on all the ups and downs that they've had over the years, I can still just look at Trent and I see that same 20-year-old kid, the one who is in the car driving with me to Riverside, saying how crazy he is about my sister, how much he loves her, and how he simply cannot picture your life without her. And I'm very happy to stand here today and let him know, as my brother now, any creature you have will have her.